Can gaming improve teaching and learning? In 2008, the Pew Internet and American Life Project reported that 97% of students aged 12 through 17 are playing games every week, and half of those students are playing daily. If we want to connect teaching and learning with what students are doing outside the classroom, gaming is a good start. We are wired for seeking pleasure and reward, and gaming plays into that mindset. In fact, in 2012, Americans spent over $21 million on the game industry. Why is gaming in the classroom a good idea? I would argue that there are four main components that make integrating gaming into teaching and learning important. First, gaming is rule-based, ranging from puzzle-based, physically challenging, and story-based to reach an end goal. Second, it is challenging for students by putting things just out of reach and adjusting to meet their needs by using hints if needed for support. Third, it engages students by motivating them to develop the knowledge and skills needed to win, sometimes even repeating and rehearsing the skills until they succeed. Lastly, it provides immediate feedback on performance and allows students to learn from their challenges and work towards achieving the game goal. Another aspect of gaming is that it increases learning because games are data rich. This allows teachers to see how students are doing and what they need to improve upon. The embedded assessments allow teachers to know how to modify their teaching or what skills to work on one-on-one -on -one with specific students. Students are able to use embedded assessments to repeat and rehearse the skills they need to learn and to work towards achieving the game goal. Gaming provides continuous assessment and feedback. This feedback on progress allows students to adjust strategies and learn from errors as they strive to reach the game's goal. Making progress along the way by accomplishing small goals helps build student self-concept. Gaming encourages many non-academic skills such as persistence, risk-taking, problem-solving, mindfulness, and attention to detail. Some people may argue that gaming does not have a place in today's classrooms. Oftentimes, some may say that we do not have enough time to add one more thing to the day, or that the programs are dependent on the internet and sometimes the Wi-Fi signal goes out during the day. Some may argue, what's wrong with the way I did it when I was a kid? Fact fluency is a key step in understanding how numbers work together. As teachers, we strive to improve the learning process for our students and engage them so that they can each feel successful. I would like to propose the use of fast math in our second and third grade classrooms at San Jose Christian School. By the end of third grade, students are expected to be fast and accurate with their math facts in all four operations. Fast Math's adaptive technology creates individualized learning for each student and embedded assessment to ensure fact mastery. To begin, Fast Math establishes a baseline of math fact fluency, identifying exactly which facts need to be targeted for intervention through a short 10 minute initial assessment. From there, Fast Math provides daily instructional sessions focused on targeted facts students need to learn based on the initial assessment. Students gain fact fluency by practicing what they've learned in 18 engaging and motivating games through adaptive independent practice. Fast Math also has a student dashboard to allow student ownership of their learning. As students see themselves moving forward every day, they're motivated to reach their goals even faster. I hope you will join me in promoting this engaging and motivating software for our students in the upcoming year.